Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. For his mercies endure forever. Amen. For his mercies endure forever. Amen. Jesus must be honored. Must be honor, must be honor. My Savior must be honor in my life. Every day, hallelujah. Jesus must be honor, must be honor, must be honor. Savior must be honor in my life. Every day, anytime. I see another breaking of the day. I'll say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Anytime I see another breaking of the day, I'll say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. He buried Jesus. E bare o baba adu bare o O mo oloro E bare o baba adu bare o O mo oloro E bare o baba On questionable You are the Lord On questionable You are the Lord Unquestionable, 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 you are the Lord. I will exalt you, Lord, for thou art lifted me above my enemy. Your banner over me is Lord, O Teresi, my amen, O Baba. O Teresi, my amen, O Jesus, and no me jimmy no, as I call me the Rio. Don't tell she my no Papa. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you once again this day. We give you praise for this privilege that we are gathered again to see another Sunday. Be the exalted Lord in Jesus' name. Lord, I ask of God as we speak. This day, minister to the names of your sons and daughters in the name of Jesus. Amen. I want to bless God's name again. Now, if uh, you are alive, if you are grateful to be among the living, sometimes when um, someone like us worship God, we see my smiles on our face, everybody feels that, oh, he has it all. No. There's something about gratitude, there's something about thanksgiving that goes beyond anything anybody is doing. So if you are like me, wherever you are, I just say thank you, Jesus. Thank him for, if they say why there is life, there is hope for you being alive. It's a testimony. Yes, I, I don't know what you are going through right now. I don't know the challenges you are in right now, but I know one thing for sure. For you being alive, there's a guarantee that... Uh, those things that you are going through, God is well able to bring you out of it. And I pray for you today, He will bring you out in Jesus' name. Amen. So, please, uh, as we start this is anointing service, our, uh, like I always uh, encourage people, please, as you are watching this, uh, please help us to share quickly to somebody, share to a brother, share to a sister, so that they can also benefit from what God. Uh, has in store for them, not what the devil has in store for them, but what God has in store, because nobody can answer prayer except God, nobody can answer prayer except God, and uh, that is important for you to know. Also, before we pray, also, it, you need to understand, this God that we are talking about, uh, it's simple, you connect to him through faith, the Bible says without faith it's impossible to please God, those that must come to God. We must first of all believe that He is. So people need to understand that. So it's not about you saying amen to it alone. 
because sometimes people watch uh, uh, prayers at time like this and then they, they, they claim whatever they, 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 they don't know how to say amen. Sometimes some people say amen, they don't even believe uh, what they are just you know, uh, saying. You, know, you need to believe, you need to have faith, you need to have faith in God, you need to have faith in the person also that is praying for you. Not that the person is the one that can answer your prayer, but believe in God first and believe in the prophet of God. Today is so significant and I'm happy uh, to share the mind of God with you before we pray. Like I always uh, educate people, teach people, uh, it's not about prayer alone, it's about knowing what you are praying for, having an understanding about what you are praying for. And every now and then, every of my platform uh, that we fellowship together, I like to support teach as a teacher so that people will know what is the, what they, they understand what they are really what they need to do hallelujah uh, today's uh, message is on moving forward uh, moving forward i don't know where you are i don't know how stagnant you are i don't know where you have been redundant i know i don't know how you have been you have not been progressing god said you are god said i should tell you you are about to move forward and therefore i speak to your life i speak to your business i speak to your ministry i speak to your home i speak to your marriage move forward in the name of jesus now it may sound so simple but i know in the realm of the spirit you are moving forward in the name of jesus every aspect of your life that has that has stagnated before you are moving forward in jesus name uh, you hope you must oh, hope you know that uh, people if you stagnate just like stagnant water go well, observe stagnant water a water that has stayed in a particular place for a long time that kind of water is uh, begins to smell it's polluted it changes color same thing also goes for human beings when you are redundant when you are stagnating when you are not moving forward you begin to smell to people, you become you become an eyesore to them, you know, you know, they begin to ignore you, they say, I can't this person. But from today, you are moving forward in the name of Jesus. I, I, can I get somebody, can I hear somebody say amen to that? You are moving forward in Jesus. And I am not trying to make you feel good. I'm just trying to share the mind of God to you. That henceforth, you are moving forward in Jesus' name. You will no longer stagnate. Your business will no longer retrogress in the name of Jesus. You will no longer stay in a particular spot again in Jesus' name. Now let me share one or two thoughts of mine uh, about what God said I uh, should tell you. Tell somebody, tell that brother. Once again, this is an anointing service and if you are watching this, please, I always encourage people, not because we are looking for viewership, but, but we, I know that God has a blessing for somebody so don't be stingy enough not to share it. It will go a long way when you share this uh, content. If it is best blessing you, if you are if you are benefiting or you are benefited from it, uh, encourage somebody with this. Share it to somebody. In Deuteronomy chapter one verse six, God was speaking to the uh, children of Israelites, and you are one of them. If you must know, uh, you are descendants of the Israelites. The Lord our God said to us at Horeb, you have, you have stayed long at this mountain. The Lord our God said to us at Horeb, you have stayed long enough at this mountain. Let me prophesy to somebody once again today. You have stayed long enough at this place you are. Your marriage has stayed long enough. Your business has stayed long enough. Now somebody is saying, eh, they have said it before. Hallelujah. And somebody is saying that, hey, even with the present, uh, present state of, of the world, how can, it, how can it be? I'm sure you remember that popular scripture that says, when men are saying that they're casting down with the children of God, we say saying they're lifting up. Meaning, if whatever is happening in the world, she will not affect your business. She will not affect your home. She will not affect your life. You know, I was in a meeting here, a minute here yesterday, and, we did, and the, 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 the preacher reminded us, he said, if Christians are waiting for 
uh, the world will get better. It's a lie. If Christians are waiting for things to, you know, the price of food stuff to reduce, it's a lie. But we should be praying because one, we, are, we are in the last days. And I always remind people we are in the last days. So we don't, you don't expect things to be normal as it was before. But we encourage because the Bible says we are not of this world. Whatever happened, whatever is happening in this world will not, should not affect us. Hallelujah. So what you should be praying for is God bless me. So whatever is happening in the world, will not, uh, whatever it is, however they increase the price of food stuff or the, uh, whatever they, is increasing, I will have more than enough. Haven't you wonder? Even with all the things that are happening in the world, you are still surviving. In the name of Jesus. Once again, I declare over you, move forward now in the name of Jesus. May your marriage move forward in Jesus' name. May, you, may your business begin to move forward in the name of Jesus. May your ministry begin to move forward in the name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' name. So in Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 6, it says, The Lord our God said to us, and God is saying to you right now, move forward. You have stayed long enough at this mountain. I'm sure you know the story that Moses had led the people of Ish, uh, the people, the people out of Egypt. Along the way, they were scared, ready to turn back and go back into slavery. God had parted the Red Sea. God has done wondrous things, fed them with manna and all that and all that. Now you need to know that sometimes God has to move us to move us into whom we need to be or get us to do what we need to do that could be a move physically, emotionally, fictionally, spiritually. So you need to understand you are moving forward in every area of your life. Sometimes, you know, some of us are not mature uh, emotionally, some of us are not mature spiritually, some of us are not, are not mature physically. But in thoughts, in all these areas, you are moving forward in Jesus' name. Where are you today? Have you been too long? Have you been in your state of worry too long? Some of us are professional warriors, if I may put it that way. Have you hovered in fear too long? Some of us, as you know, we have a you know, double degree in fear, move from that state. Have you rested in the safety of a comfort zone for too long? Even sometimes, even Christians now, because of what is happening, they are just there. They don't want to move. They are not taking risk. And uh, there's, there's, there's a saying that says we don't, uh, not to take risk is even risky. So where, which level are you right now? Move from your comfort zone. Move from worrying. Move from being fearful. Bible says God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of love and sound mind. It's a perfect love casted out fear. I know, listen, I you know sometimes when I share my own personal test, some people think I'm lying. I have been there where the devil will bombard your brain, bombard your heart with a lot of negativity. And sometimes if care is not taking you, you are overwhelmed with it until you don't say not you. By his grace, not you quickly. Say, what's wrong with you? Why are you thinking about this? That heart always keep. No money to pay our friends, no money to pay for school fees of your children, no, no money, no things are looking up, up as if, as if uh, 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 the gate of hell was loosed concerning you. And if it's not taking you, begin to worry, if it's not taking you, to be fearful. And, and, and I know some of you out there, so many are overwhelming situation, but God is telling you today, is moving you from whatever you are going to right now in the name of Jesus. Would God say to you today, you have been there too long? Would God say to you, you have been there too long? Whatever you are right now, if God dared to tell you, my brother, my sister, my son, my daughter, you have dwelt too long in this your body. You have dared, the, 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 you have you have dwelt too long in this your fear. You have dwelt too long in your loneliness. You have stagnated enough. You need to understand that. There's a story also 
when, when Jesus took Peter, James, and John to the mountain of transfiguration in Matthew 17, Peter was ready to build three tents, one for Jesus, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. I don't know where he planned to sleep. But he was ready to come out for a while. Jesus took Peter back into the valley and into more ministry opportunities at the time. Peter could only see what he could see. So there's a possibility where you are right now, just like Peter, you are seeing only what you could see. But God is telling you, move forward. You have dwelt in that place for a long time. No, I have spent um, close to 30 years in the ministry. And more than 20 years in full-time ministry. And I can tell you, when it comes to um, ministry business or business ministry, whatever way, whichever way you want to call it, uh, where I am today, if I have stayed in one spot, I won't be where I am. Have I got it, gotten to my bus stop? No. Have I arrived? No. I know I love one of my father and my mentor, um, Bishop T.D. He said, the day you stop uh, learning, that day you start dying. And for you to learn, you are, for you to be learning, it means you are constantly moving forward. So you need to understand that he's going ready to take you some place outside of your realm of comfort. Is he looking for you to move into a deeper commitment to him? Is he preparing you for a better place, perhaps, an even greater work? Have you been in the state you are in, the place you are in for too long, far too long? Why don't you ask him today? Some of us are in our comfort zone. I can tell you sometimes I, I, don't know, I need to learn certain things. I go, I don't know, all out. The last cover in my pocket. I have programs I want to do. Use the last cover. And some, somebody say, ah, why are you doing Why are you wasting money? But they don't know that sometimes you need to, you need to leave your comfort zone. Sometimes I have to trek long distance because I need to go to a place to come and learn. Hallelujah. This is anointing service. I want to encourage you that God that we serve is the God of all possibility. That whatever you are going through right now, He is telling you, He is moving you forward in the name of Jesus. I profess that into your life once again. You are moving forward in Jesus' name. Your home, your marriage, every aspect of your life is moving forward in the name of God. God is saying to you, you have dwelt on this same spot for a long time. Maybe your ministry. May I say to you, if you are in the ministry or your church, maybe what you need is wisdom from God, being creative. I always boast about it. I don't have a church, but I have churches that I'm affiliated to. But some of the things I am doing, some church can never, have, have never moved for once done that. Why? I'm always hungry. I'm always asking. I'm always being creative. I'm always being innovative. Some of you that are in ministry, you are there and you're not moving forward because you're not asking the Holy Spirit. You're not allowing, you're not willing towards the Holy Spirit. He's telling certain things and you're asking, you're because we are dogmatic in your religious, fanatic, and whatever, whatever, and you feel that that's not God, that's not the Holy Spirit talking. If somebody would tell me some of the things I'm doing today, I would say no. But thank God for the willingness yielding to the Holy Spirit for you to move forward from where you are today you need to yield to the Holy Spirit for your own, for your business for your ministry, some of you are here today you, have not, you don't even know how to give to God you're not making sacrifices you're not giving your time, you're not giving your offering you're not giving anything to God and you're expecting God to do things for you it doesn't work that way Hallelujah. henceforth you are moving forward in Jesus name I want to encourage you do not forget, we have several programs that we are doing. It's on our uh, audio visual on the social media platform. By His grace, also God has instructed us to start uh, a vigil. We call it Midnight Cry. Starting from October, every Friday, every Friday from 12 o'clock, uh, we gather here and we pray. Um, Bible says men ought to pray and not to faith. 
Bible says when men were sleeping, that's when the enemy came to sleep. And so some of us are already sleeping. I pray that God will wake you up in Jesus' name. So please join us every 12 o'clock, starting from October, every Friday, 12 o'clock, to pray, to bombard heaven, to bombard hell, that our blessings will be has. I told you, uh, I will give the keys of the kingdom. I'm a prayerful person, I'm a prayer word, I'm a put it that way. Uh, this time around, for those that say that, well, I, I, the Bible doesn't pray. I do pray, but I believe there are strategies in place, and prayer is one of them, not the only one. You can't be praying and not working. So join me from October, every Friday, 12 a.m., to pray. And I believe that to do that, the heavens will be opened unto us in Jesus' name. We have another program, I'm sure, come uh, um, last Saturday of this month. We have prophetic prayers for our businessmen and women. You can't afford to miss it. Just a, a day uh, prayer. I and one of my uh, pastor friends want to pray. The last uh, quarterly uh, uh, prayers for our businessmen and women. Uh, don't forget, uh, the donation will go a long way to uh, help us preach the gospel the way we ought to. Uh, so I'm sure you see on the screen or on, on the collar our details on where you can pay into it. can be a covenant partner of the image in the world. There's a lot I will do. And I'm, uh, when I always boast about that ministry is a fat and ground. So, like I encouraged you before, uh, there, there are things you need just need to do. There are some, when it comes to strategy, just uh, give your way out of it. And God gives an institution, give to this person. And you give, you don't need prayer for that. That's sense you don't need prayer for only your giving, only being just being covenant partners of ours. Do uh, that God bless in Jesus. If you have information, you have a need for prayers, I'm sure you see on the screen or the collar. You have seen before our details on what you can, where, where the numbers you can call. And those numbers are on WhatsApp, so make it easy. You can WhatsApp us, as, as somebody will be there to pray with you. If there's a need for you to have a session with us, we'll tell you what and what it entails so that uh, your life can get better. Once again, as you go in this way, the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. Once again, I declare upon you, henceforth, we will move forward in the name of Jesus. Upon the water, upon the anointing oil, upon the handkerchiefs, upon the pictures, and release the blessings of God in the name of those who are sick in their body and command the healing of God upon their body right now in Jesus' name. You are healed, 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 you are healed in the name of Jesus. I command the labors of God upon your life that from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, anything that is contrary to God's will is removed right now in Jesus' name. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Stay blessed. Shalom. Your kingdom has no end. This is everlasting. Over all our Yeah. Oh. 
Your word may flesh manifest in our presence. We will go on no eshew. One no bore my iniquities, cross of Calvary pain for my sins. We will go on no eshew. Oh, but I love you. Oh, but I love you. 